Hi, everybody. This is Heather Lockyer with Lasting Conversations, and we are celebrating today number 100. We're already at episode 100 today. 100 episodes, 100 voices, over 10,000 lives touched. It could even be 100,000. So some of the statistics are pretty darn fun. And what I appreciate is all of you, the listeners, and our amazing guests who have brought forward the lasting conversations that are here to really uplift humanity, to help us feel that there is a soft place to land when it's getting very, very loud out there. So I want to welcome all of you, if you're first-time listeners or people who've been around since the beginning. Now, we're going to celebrate a second year just in another six weeks, but there's something about today, this week of being 100, 100 voices, and one of the many voices that I'm most, most proudest of has been with Dr. Temple Grandin, and that very serendipitous day happened back in February, where we were just at this luncheon together and she leaned in and said yes to being on the show. Now, Dr. Temple, for me, is a pioneer. For those who have been marginalized historically with not having a voice to be heard, and she's in the autistic spectrum, and we have had Dr. Temple and many others um, with other children and who are teachers and educators of people who are neurodivergent and who have need a little extra help here and there. So the reason I was so proud of that moment is that I just consider her, yes, I put her on his pedestal as being a wise elder, a wise elder for all of us to show us the way as a light beacon to know that there are Forget the boxes. We can go way outside the box. And here we are that to have availability for everybody here on the planet. So this is also part of my own why. Why is this important to me? Well, what I've come to find out is that I just have been brought up. I was brought up by hippies. <laughs> I was brought up by suburban hippies, but still hippies nonetheless. In terms of having that music, having that um, roar of something different, something else has to change, where even they were brought up within conformities of their upbringing. And so they were youngsters. They were only 20 and 23 when they had me. And so they were babies now raising a baby and raising a family in, in this, that for that time in the early 60s and throughout the 60s and into the 70s, it was a generational s- stretches. And the music was ball buster, which was also informed me where now we're at another juncture generationally, where as every new generation stretches the limits, stretches the boundaries and makes us think harder and more limitless. This gets right back to Dr. Grandin and so many of the other guests on our show that help us define what is even human and stretch the boundaries. So here we were back in the 60s during a uh, bizarro time and you know there was war going on and people wanted to have peace. So here we are at another juncture where some people are having a drumbeat of war and some people are in spaces where there is war. And yet here we are where the vast majority of us humans on this planet are continuing the drumbeat of peace and humanity. We see us human to human. So that I'm so thrilled that I'm looking at the statistics that this show has been either watched on YouTube or listened to in almost 300 cities across well over 37 countries in six continents. And that's growing and growing and growing. So when I say 10,000, there have been over 10,000 downloads. And I think even 100,000 is safe to say likes and clicks and impressions across all the different channels and the LinkedIn's and the Facebook's and the Instagram's and most importantly, from people who are heart to heart, who have taken my business card, I'll call it a beingness card, and have maybe passed it on to somebody else. And I say, hey, have you listened? Have you had a listen? Here's a teacher that 
you might want to listen to as you're about to go back into your classroom. Or here is someone who has died and come back and has some amazing things to talk about, to share of what's really, really important. Or here is somebody who's an artist who has gone their way and had their journey and now is bringing their art and their joy or their music out into the world. So all of these people, all of these voices, all of these vibrations just are so warming to my heart and clearly warming to so many others from across the globe. Where I see Lasting Conversations heading is to continue the ripple effect because love and heart and art and music and joy and um, journeys and community has that amazing ripple effect that we can affect the planet. We can get into the quantum physics. And some of our guests have talked about that, that as we continue to spread light, love, and joy throughout our planet, that can help somebody else understand that even though if you're going through the absolute shits right now, somebody has your back. And the absolute butterfly effect of that can help be that container for those who are in a very hard time. So right now, what I know is that some of the fun times, I loved connecting with my cousin Karen, and she is one of those amazing artists. And then there was Jill Butler, of course, and we've had so many changes actually in the last 40 weeks since the last celebration when I celebrated 60 being 60. So much has changed in these last 40 weeks. We've had guests pass away quite suddenly. We've had new babies being born. We've had people move. People's businesses have shifted. Everything has kind of shifted as our world has shifted. And I was on the road for a long chunk of these last 40 weeks. And I can feel this new itch, the itch to get back on the road, but actually on an airplane. I feel the rest of the world calling that I would love to be broadcasting from a mountain of, of Spain or Switzerland or at a tea house in England or to go into Germany and France. These are That is my global wish, is to physically be in more global spaces all the while we can broadcast it using this technology from around to and from around the world. And that's very, very exciting. And of course, I'll need your help with that, with continued support of the show. And you can subscribe, you can uh, press the PayPal button, you can give me a call, you can tell your friends, you can suggest new guests, because I would love to hear from you to, to find out what is important to you, to listen to you to have you felt heard and seen. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about also is that level of peace, love, and joy. And some of the guests who speak about that, there was Tammy Barber. She, she and Ray Catania, they are number one and two in the YouTube video viewer viewing numbers, as a matter of fact. And they have different perspective, different storylines, but it comes down to the same thing where Tammy was literally a cheerleader, a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. And now there's Ray and so many other gentlemen who they, their perspectives are always about what fulfills our hearts and what brings us joy and how to work better, not harder necessarily. And what is a new perspective? So what I love uh, is is like this disco ball of all these different voices. It's a hundred so far, and there are more to come. And each one shares a little bit of a different perspective. Which one is my favorite? I can't pick one. Although I'll go back to Dr. Temple. She she's my all time favorite of being most proud. But to pick a favorite, you'll need to do that because there are a hundred shows over the course of the last hundred weeks, plus the title um, introduction. You can listen to that too. So if that makes 101, so be it. So here we are at a new season in September of 2024. It is a new season that represents fall and August. I mean, the fall, (laughs) 
from a new time, a new solstice, a new day. And this is where Lasting Conversations is meant to be, is literally at the dawn of a new day. Now that might sound kind of grand, but that's what it feels like. It feels like as we're all in this wild time together, it feels like myself and this show is also at a precipice of something else that's being birthed. And again, we are all in this together. So continue listening, continue sharing, and continue being part of the loy- love and the joy. Loy, part of the loy, <laughs> love and joy together. Because you are the ripple effect. This show is not about me. That's probably why my voice gets gummed up. Because it's not about me. It's about all of you. So all the different voices coming through at the same time. This is the music. This is the harmony. And it's not to sound trite or woo or any of that. It is literal quantum physics. (laughs) So once again, I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate your loyalty. And I appreciate all of the guests who have said how much fun they have had while being on the show. And please remember to like, review, share, sign up, subscribe, and tell your friends. This is Heather Lockett with Lasting Conversations. We are getting to the heart of everything.